Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 205 Rebranded. Welcome to the premier night of 205. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a show for you all tonight in our main event, a 10-man Royal Rumble. Winner chooses their face for the Global Heavyweight Championship in two weeks' time at our first ever pay-per-view. And ladies and oh, wait a minute. Pete Dunne wasn't scheduled until later tonight, but it seems that he wants to be the first man to grace us with his presence. Pete Dunne, the bruiser weight. He knows what he wants. He has an opportunity tonight to solidify himself and his spot as number one. But he has a tall task standing in front of him. He has to eliminate ten other, he has to, excuse me, he has to eliminate nine other men. And we don't even know who those nine other men are. We don't know how they're going to enter the Rumble. We don't know when they're going to enter the Rumble. It's a lot of possibilities that can go into this match that can throw any single member, any single one of the persons, the participants involved in this Rumble off their game because you don't know who can come out next. But ladies and gentlemen, let's hear what Pete Dunne has to say. Allow me to introduce myself. I am, well, let me not get too ahead of myself. I will be the global heavyweight champion. And that's not just after I eliminate nine of the men tonight in the main event. No, tonight I'm going to show you all that I am always the top guy. It doesn't matter which wrestling promotion I am in. It doesn't matter if it's NXT, Monday Night Raw, or even 205. I will always be... Oh, 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 wait a minute. It's Santos Escobar. Santos Escobar has Pete Dunne up on his shoulders. Plants him down. Chaos already spewing here. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I just got word. Santos Escobar is also in tonight's main event 10-man Royal Rumble match. I guess he didn't like what Pete Dunne was saying. Well, this is going to cause some major disruption in tonight's match, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 205. Rebranded and we're entering our first match of the night. Isaiah Swerve Scott takes on Drew Gulak in a one-on-one -on -one match. Drew Gulak says that he has something to prove in tonight's match against Isaiah Swerve Scott. A heavy task stands tall at hand for Drew Gulak. Isaiah Swerve Scott is an amazing athlete. Athleticism on this guy, the look, everything about this man just says superstar. It just says that he needs to be a champion. And one day, I'm pretty sure that will come forth. But ladies and gentlemen, as we prepare for this match, don't forget our main event. What we just seen, Santos Escobar attack Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne was rambling on and on about himself being a top guy and Santos Escobar didn't feel that Pete Dunne was speaking the truth. But that's later on in the night. Right now, Drew Gulak is making his way down to the ring. He looks pumped up and ready to go. He looks to make a name for himself here in 205 Rebranded. This is a fresh new start for every single competitor in that locker room. Everyone has to prove themselves. And you can hear the chant already behind Isaiah Swerve Scott. We can already see who they're rooting for. And the ringing of the bell. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Isaiah Swerve Scott and Drew Gleck in the lockup. Now with that wrist lock, has his, oh, has him up, plants him down. Swerve Scott working on the right arm. Excuse me, the left arm goes right back to it. Knee to the shoulder. Looks like he's already planning out how he's going to do this match. How he's going to wear Drew Gulak down. But Drew Gulak has Isaiah Swerve Scott against the ropes. Throwing right hands. Ladies and gentlemen, we are celebrating because tonight is the premiere night of 205 Rebranded. This is no longer just a cruiserweight division, even though the Cruiserweight Championship 
is still a part of 205 Live, ladies and gentlemen. We will be having a tournament. A tournament tonight. Two of the men that will be in tonight's tournament is Finn Balor will take on Chad Gable. The winner of that match will move on to the quarterfinals. Excuse me, not the quarterfinals. The winner of this match tonight will move on to the next round. We actually have two tournament first round matches happening tonight. A newcomer by the name of Bay Barrett will take on Montez Ford to see who advances. But ladies and gentlemen, this battle has gotten out of the ring. Isaiah Swerve Scott planting Drew Gulak right there on that ring apron. Referee trying to get both men back into the ring. Drew Gulak circling around his ring. I say it's from Scott. From the top rope with a drop kick outside to Drew Gulak. What did I tell you? This man, Isaiah Swerve Scott, is freakishly athletic. And now he's just showboating outside of the ring. And we're back outside of the ring that quick. Isaiah Swerve Scott using the ring. Everything outside to his advantage. Just sent Drew Gulak into that ring post, that LED ring post. But now Gulak in control. No, he's not. Isaiah Swerve Scott with a reversal there. Don't forget to count of three. Both men need to get back in the ring. Isaiah Swerve Scott taking his time. Now we have it back in the ring. Order is restored. Nice little take that nearby. Isaiah Swerve double stomps to the chest of Drew Gulak. Isaiah Swerve Scott also mentioned that he should have been in tonight's Royal Rumble match to determine who will be the first ever global heavyweight champion. But now in the roller pin, Drew Gulak has Isaiah Swerve Scott in the roller pin. Count of one, but kick out an easy kick out at one. Drew Gulak gaining a little bit of offense here tonight. Now Drew Gulak looking to work on that right arm. He also has it. Oh my God. And a submission move. That arm and right knee. But Isaiah Swerve Scott powering out of it. Kick to the chin. Gulak had no other choice but to release the hold. This match. What is this? Some type of pedigree? Oh, thought he was going for a pedigree. But no. And first, oh, he was looking for that standing moonsault. Gulak got the knees up. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for joining us here tonight. Premier event, premier of 205. We branded. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a great run. It's going to be a great night. Springboard off of the top rope. Isaiah Swerve Scott pulling out all the stops. Another, another double stomp to the chest, but Drew Gulak catches him with a quick kick. A nice little sweep there by Drew Gulak, who's now back in control. And he slams down Isaiah Swerve Scott, ladies and gentlemen. Both men feel that they deserve to be at the top of the list here on 205 cover in progress. Kick out at two by Isaiah Swerve Scott. Both men feel that their names should be bigger than what they are now. Drew Gulak, who doesn't have such a good history in other promotions that we won't speak of for obvious reasons. But Drew Gulak has not been one known to win matches. And, but here tonight, he has a chance to change that. That is in the past. Drew Gulak has a new aura. He has a new stigma about himself. And he's showing that tonight against this battle with Isaiah Swerve Scott. But Isaiah Swerve Scott now in control. Looking for another backbreaker. And another moonsault. But Gulak got the knees up again. Seems like he scouted Isaiah Swerve Scott a little bit bit closer than we might have thought but now Gulak on the second rope what is he going for splash from the second rope to Isaiah Swerve Scott Gulak now in control here can he take advantage of this momentum and end it here he has Isaiah Swerve Scott up and just plants him down Gulak in complete control 
Isaiah needs to wake up. If he, if he wants to win this match, Gulak going for the cover. Referee kick. Oh, whoa. Isaiah Swerve Scott grabs the ropes. If Gulak maybe would have pulled him away from the ropes a little further, maybe Gulak would have gotten his first win. The first win here on 205 rebranded. That would have been a huge achievement, but Drew Gulak looking to end it right here. Oh, no. Isaiah Swerve Scott not ready for that. He reverses it. Now throwing right to left some chops. Off the second rope. A moonsault. And another moonsault. Springboard moonsault from the second rope. Isaiah Swerve Scott gaining momentum. Now headed up to the top rope. Referee trying to get him to come down. And he comes down. On to Drew Gulak. I know that that hurt the stomach. Referee at the count of one. Oh, that was a close one. Drew Gulak fighting Isaiah Swerve Scott with an amazing performance. He now is looking to end it all. Oh, basement drop kick to the chin. And he goes for the cover once again. One, two, three. Oh, no, no. A kick out. Drew Gulak is fighting. This is a different side of Drew Gulak. He doesn't want to be known as the man that loses. Oh, reversal. Oh, oh my God. What was that? Isaiah Swerve Scott just rolled up. A little tuck and roll. Looking for it again. Another kick to the mouth of Drew Gulak. What is going on here? An amazing sequence being put on by both men. You can hear the crowd standing one more time. Holy hell. This is a side of Drew Gulak that we have never seen before. These two men are putting on one hell of a match here tonight. Definitely living up to the rebranded stigma of tonight's show. A barn burner of a match to kick off tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Nice little leg sweep there by Drew Gulak. Trying to drag Isaiah Swerve Scott away from the rope so he won't be able to grab the ropes again. Smart move done by Drew Gulak. The submission special like he was going for a submission there. But Swerve Scott with his quickness moved out of the way. And Swerve Scott rolls him up again, spinning him around. Whoa, my goodness. Isaiah pulling out all the stops here. That's the right hand there turning. Drew Gulak around. Has him in the electric chair. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my God. One, two, three. Oh, my goodness. Isaiah Swerve Scott beats Drew Gulak in the first match here on 205 Rebranded. Congratulations to this man, Isaiah Swerve Scott, showing everyone why he will be a household name here in 205 Rebranded, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to Drew Gulak. He put on one hell of a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, while we are away, Bay Barrett took on Montez Ford in our Cruiserweight Championship Tournament Round 1. This match had a great sequence to it. Both men, as you can see, Bay Barrett looks pretty good in the ring. Both men put on a pretty good match, pretty solid competitiveness from everyone. Both Montez Ford and Bay Barrett showed their true intensity in that ring. They left everything and gave everything in this ring. But in the end, Bay Barrett would come out victorious as he hit an insegur. See, not an insegur, but he kicked Montez in the head. Looking here for that signature move, but not without those hits to the head, causing Montez Ford to have a little scar on his head. Not too serious, but he would end it all with the deep six. And Bay Barrett advances to the next round of the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament. After the match, we saw a huge 
amount of sportsmanship. Even though Tess lost the match, he shook the hand of Bay Barrett. A good way to start off the new era of 205 rebranded. And also, ladies and gentlemen, like I stated before, there were two matches that happened tonight. Another championship round. Round one, Finn Balor versus Chad Gable. And you know these two, when you pair them together, they are known to put on an absolute classic. Finn Balor had control in the majority of this match, but Chad Gable would get some offense going, but it just wasn't enough as Finn Balor would do that signature move that we all know, the coup de grace, and that was it for Chad Gable. Finn Balor, one, two, three, advances to the next round, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to get into our main event. We had a barn burner of a show tonight, but before we do that, we want to take you back to earlier tonight, what happened at the start of the show. Pete Dunne would make his way down to the ring, graced us with his presence to kick off. He wasn't even scheduled to cut a promo earlier tonight, but he made his way out here. He said some pretty intriguing words, claiming that he would be the new global heavyweight champion, but Santos Escobar had something to say about that. Coming out and attacking Pete Dunne, planting him in the middle of the ring, leaving him lying there. Santos would later on add it to the match. Ladies and gentlemen, we know tonight, oh, well, well, well. Pete Dunne is the number one entry in tonight's Royal Rumble match, of course, but that is also a disadvantage. Pete Dunne has to face everyone at the number one spot, and with each competitor coming out one after another, that is surely going to wear Pete Dunne down, but who knows? Pete Dunne is a little angry from what happened tonight. An attack by Santos Escobar is not going to sit well in this match. We don't even know what number he's going to come out at, but we do know that Mustafa Ali is number two. A man that has great charisma, a man that also would love to etch his name in the history books as the first ever global heavyweight champion here on 205, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Ring of the bell, Pete Dunne, starting off viciously already. Close line to Mustafa Ali. He's not taking, wasting any time. Pete Dunne, already eliminating Mustafa Ali. Could this be all we have to see tonight? Pete Dunne has a little more fuel in his fire. And Tyler Bate is coming out here at number three. Pete Dunne with a right hand automatically already beating Tyler Bate. And he's sending him out of the ring already. Pete Dunne with another elimination. Two men already. Pete Dunne is fired up here. Kind of three. Who's going to be next? Angel Garza at number four. Pete Dunne. Patiently waiting. We're already at the fourth spot. Andrew Garza, can he get a little offense going here? I was moving to the corner. Pete Dunn with a step up in Seguri to Andrew Garza. This ring has yet to fill up as Pete Dunn has been eliminating everyone so far. Looking to eliminate Angel Garza, and he does. This is a different side of Pete Dunn. This is the bruise away side. Of Pete Dunn, who's next? Lindsay Dorado. Maybe he can get a little offense going. Maybe he can slow Pete Dunn down just a little bit. No! Pete Dunn catches Lindsay Dorado off guard with a vicious Larry clothesline. Pete Dunn not wasting any time once again. 
That's the fifth guy Pink Dunn. The fourth, excuse me, fourth guy Pink Dunn just eliminated. The ring has yet to fill up, ladies and gentlemen. Kushida entering at number six, but I don't know how I'd feel about entering this match. With as angry as Pete Dunne is, oh my god, just clawing the face and eyes. Oh my god. This is really the bruiser white side of Pete Dunne. Getting all these men out quickly. Will Kushida be next? Kushida eliminated. Pete Dunne. I think I know who he wants. I think you all know who he wants this entry to be. No, it's Danny Birch. Santos Escobar has yet to enter this match. I'm pretty sure we all know that's who Pete Dunne wants to enter this match. He wants a one-on-one -on -one with Santos Escobar. Headbutt to the jaw of Danny Birch. Pete Dunne throwing Danny Birch over the top rope. Looking to eliminate him and he does. What an upset here. Pete Dunne. Momentum is crazy off the charts right now. Akira Tozawa entering at number eight. He doesn't stand a chance. We are already at number eight. Pete Dunne has eliminated every single person that has entered this ring looking for Akira. What is going on? What is going on? Pete Dunne. I guess he wasn't kidding when he meant that he was going to be the top guy. It doesn't matter which brand he's on, he's going to be the top guy. And right now, he's definitely proving that. Entry number nine, getting the same, oh my God, the same treatment as everyone else. A claw to the face and a stomp to the back of the head. Pete Dunne looking to eliminate, and he does. This is the last entry. This could only mean one thing, guys. This could only mean one thing. Pete Dunne's going to get what he wants. A one-on-one. -on -one. Could it be? Santos Escobar is number 10. You can see Pete Dunne eagerly waiting for Santos to get in the ring. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, both men are into the ring. Pete Dunne looking. Oh, Irish whip. Under goes under. Missed the clothesline. Santos Escobar picks him up. Plants him down onto his knee. This is what Peter has been waiting for. Right hand looking to be thrown by Santos Escobar. Oh! Step up in security to the back of the head. Double stomps to the chest. Pete Dunn has been waiting for Santos to come out here. And you can see, surprisingly, he's not rushing to get Santos out of the ring. Pete Dunn wants vengeance for what happened earlier. He wants to get back at Santos Escobar. But Santos putting up a fight. Not letting this go easily. Oh! Nice little Hurricane Rana there by Santos Escobar. Irish whip. Oh, they run into each other. Both men dazed up. Looking for a right hand. Pete Dunn reverses it. And Santos reverses it right here by Pete Dunn. Kick to the midsection, ladies and gentlemen. Santos looking to eliminate Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn dazed on the ropes. Can he do it? No! Oh my God! Pete Dunn saving himself, picking him, picking Santos up, and just slamming him. On that top rope, has to get some whiplash there from Pete, from, excuse me, from Santos Escobar. Pete Dunn now in control. Oh my, biting the knuckles. What the hell? Taking this to another level of brutality. Pete Dunn wants to wear down Santos Escobar. He's doing a pretty good job of it. And still, he has yet to eliminate Santos Escobar. But he has, Pete, he has Santos against the ropes. Pete Dunne looking to eliminate Santos Escobar. And he does. Pete Dunne does what he said he's going to do at the start of the show. And he is now the rightful winner. And will now be able to choose who he will face for the Global Heavyweight Championship in two weeks' time. In our first ever pay-per-view, Pete Dunne eliminates Santos Escobar. Proving, but wait a minute, Pete Dunn's going for a microphone here. Let's see what he has to say. You made a foolish mistake, Santos. You made a foolish mistake, Santos. I'm gonna give you what you want. I'm gonna show you in two weeks' time why they call me the bruiser wet.